Welcome to Humphrey headquarters, young man. Take a look inside. Oh my god. Welcome to my shoe collection reveal. Thinking about you. Everything I've gotten is from you guys. It's really awesome. So these SpongeBob Kyrie's, I'm gonna give away five pairs of these. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel. Then go to my Instagram. I posted a picture with these. Tag three friends, and you have a chance to win these. They're really dope, so just subscribe. Go to that Instagram picture. Gonna give away five pairs of these. One of my favorite shoes. Yeah, link in the description. So this is my third shoe collection video. I do one of these at the end of every year. My collection has gotten pretty overdosed at this point. I have over a hundred pairs of shoes. Don't tell me I have a problem in the comments, because I already know. I have a problem. You know, this year I really calmed down on buying shoes, but I do a lot of things that just like equate to me getting free shoes. For example, I host a show for Champ Sports. Every single episode, I get a free pair of shoes. Like it was getting to the point I'm like, I'm giving them to Zach, I'm giving it to the camera guy of the show. I'm like, I don't need more shoes. Also, I just want to clarify before we get into it, I'm not a sneaker head. I don't have great knowledge of shoes. I just like shoes. See, these three pairs I got from my Champ show right here. These shoes are actually super stylish. Is super dope. I have both colorways of them. Which colorway is cooler? Let me know. One time I was wearing these and Scotty Pippen said they were dope. Then I got these shoes. Uh, as you can see, these ones are pretty beat up. I think I went hiking in these. I tried to organize everything. So these four is my little Puma collection. All four of these were given to me. Transformers, bitch. You didn't see that coming, did you? Yeah, one time I was wearing these playing basketball and bro, this dude just kept asking me. He's like, oh my God, where did you get those? Those are so sick, bro. Like, can I buy them off you right now? I'm like, no, I'm Wearing them. I got these. I don't know about these ones. I'm gonna keep it real. Puma just started getting into basketball. I like these because I like bright colored shoes, you know, really flashy on the court. I actually enjoy hooping in the Pumas. Ken, I beat them up so fast. Like, they're not even white anymore. I think I wore them outside. One day, I just bought a bunch of pairs of shoes like these, just all white, just to be customized. Or say, I'm not very good at customizing shoes. These were the first pairs of shoes that were ever like given to me from doing YouTube, social media. And it was at like an NBA Live. 18 event rip NBA live they gave me these I've worn them like once they just don't work with me like some shoes look weird on people these are that for me these look weird on me I actually got these shoes while I was in China so these shoes traveled with me from China to the United States that's probably like half the shoes but I actually got these in China this hyper dunk shoe is an absolute classic I used to love hooping in these shoes back in the day and they brought it back one day and I was like I have to cop I used to always wear these Loved hooping in hyper dunks. Are these the hyper zoom? I don't know. I got these shoes in China. They were literally like unveiling them there. I like low top basketball shoes, so these are not for me. Along with these pairs of LeBrons, these aren't like too much high top. They're still a little high for me. The back of these shoes are super sick. Uh, I used to like hooping in LeBrons back in the day, but I haven't really hooped in them in the past like two, three years. Again, LeBrons, more LeBrons. These red ones are pretty sick. I probably gotta go faster to get through these my favorite hooping shoe i'm not even gonna cap these are my favorite shoes i wear them more than any of them any of the shoes in this collection basketball wise it's the under armor curry shoes bro i love low tops so much they're so comfortable to me i feel lightweight i feel like i can jump a good height my feet destroy the bottom of shoes i think i don't walk normally like i don't know how to walk i'm just gonna say it so someone gave me these pairs of shoes and then you know i tried it i wore it i was like okay they're kind of ugly I don't really want to wear them too much. But then I was like, oh my god, they're so good to hoop in. So I had to get, you know, a better looking pair. I have one of the older pairs of Currys. I honestly never really wear these. I just got sent to me. They're actually not released. Luca was wearing them the other night. They're the Sour Patch Kids Steph Curry shoes. These shoes are so sexy. People be hating on Under Armour, bro, but I am a fan. I'm a big fan. And look at the inside. The inside says Sour Patch Kids. Oh, bro, that would be fire. 
If I played in both of these, you can't tell me that wouldn't be heat. First they're sour, then they're sweet. They actually sponsored a video of mine coming up soon. And then my Bucket Squad backpack just appeared out of nowhere. Best socks in the game. Ball is life makes all the merch. Link in the description. I had to throw a quick plug in. We are getting to the off-white Nike section. This row right here is my off-white Nikes. Now, first we have the off-white Hyper Dunks. These shoes are really sexy. Horrible to hoop in. Do not hoop in these shoes. I hooped in them once. It was paid. It was not a fun experience. The color on it kind of like bled onto my sock in a weird way. I should honestly bust these out again. It wasn't the worst experience. There's just better shoes to hoop in. I'm about to tell you the biggest shoe come up ever. I bought these shoes for about $1,400, $1,500. You want to know how much these are now? They're about $6,000. $6,000. Thousand. I have beat these up. Okay, like they're changing colors down here. Don't invest in crypto. Invest in off-white Jordans. <laughs> and then I had these for a while. A couple months later, I was like, bro, the blue ones are so sexy. So I caught the blue ones too. And then I threw in these two little gold taints to give us, you know, some extra flair. I honestly haven't worn these in so long. I need to bust them out again. It's just, they're so thick. The coolest part about these is whatever sock you're wearing is like the color of the shoe because it's see-through. So I got my my off-white blazers, Hollow's Eve. So it was recently Halloween. I was going to a pumpkin patch and I was like, I have to wear my Hollow's Eve. Halloween, it makes sense. They changed colors a bit. They used to be a lot darker, like more black. And now they have so much dust on them. I need to figure out a way to clean them. I got the original blazers. I'm such a child that I wrote JSR on the side and like kind of ruined these. <laughs> Honestly, when I did that, I was in a hotel room. It was snowy. I had nothing to do for hours. Like that's how bored I was. I started drawing. <laughs> on my off -white. And for these blazers, I have a mini me where I'm wearing this exact shoe, except half of the shoe is missing. The last pair of off whites I have, I don't know the name of them, but they also came out right when the Hollow's Eve one, so I think they're Halloween themed. And I haven't bought off white Nikes in over a year. I think this is the last pair I bought was the Hollow's Eve. Moving up to one of my most expensive purchases with shoes, these cost me a thousand dollars. Um, it is the signed Lonzo Ball Big Baller brand shoes. These shoes are super lightweight. Um, they're really not very high quality. Lonzo literally came out and said that he had to switch shoes every quarter because they would just break every time. The only good thing about them is they're super lightweight. I got another pair, right? What am I doing? These are 500, bro. I got it for a YouTube video. If I wasn't making YouTube videos, I would never get it. I think this Laker colorway one is super sick. These shoes, I actually went to the wear test for them. These are the Nike Adapts. If you don't know what these are, they are auto lace basketball shoes. They're not charged right now, so I can't show you, but you can customize the color on your phone of these. They light up and you can untighten and tighten it. And you can also tighten it and untighten on the phone. At the wear test, one of us grabbed Zach's phone while he was playing, completely tightened his shoe to max tightness and he almost tripped. They're extremely hard to put on. I have a big foot. It's hard to get my foot in there. These shoes are extremely rare and extremely uncomfortable. Basically, if you click this button, it orders a pizza. It has to go through an app on your phone, but like you click this button and your pizza order comes up. So that's pretty dope, but it's like massive uh, tongue. Oh no, this other button can connect to your TV to pause it for when you're getting your pizza. Like these are the most OD shoes. Right here are my Kobe Pochos. As you can see, they are unworn. The reason I got these is because I had an opportunity to buy them retail. I was with Two Hype and literally everyone in the group got one and I was like, okay, everyone's getting them. They're rare shoes. They're undefeated Kobe Potros. I'm pretty sure the resale is like five or 600 like a year ago. I don't know what it is now. I respect people that do like camo. Nothing against them, but it's not for me. These shoes, again, I'm disgusting. The bottom of it got ruined by this part of my foot. I guess I'm, maybe I walk like a little sideways or something. These got destroyed and I'm really kind of sad about it because these shoes are actually super rare. There's only about a hundred of them. So the lines on the shoe are the lines of New York City. It has an apple on the back. I used to wear these all the time super comfy great hooping shoes but i stopped wearing them after i was like completely beating them up because they are like really rare shoes ball is life gave them to me shout out to them lebron nine south beaches i've always been a huge fan of the south beach colorway and a huge fan of these shoes in general like these are my favorite pairs of lebron so i had to cop it pretty rare shoe really sick like this is one of my favorites paul george playstation shoes are one of my absolute favorites
favorites, not only because they are really dope, like the they light up, we got the PlayStation logo, that's sick. I actually won this belt to hype. MVP, I went off, one of the best days of my life. Had an amazing game, you know, all of you guys were out there supporting. It was our first two hype event, went absolutely off. Just one of the greatest experiences of my life. And I was wearing these today, so they make it really near and dear to my heart. I should get a case for these. Right here, we have a signed pair of James Hardens, and what makes this really cool is the only time I ever wore these shoes, I was playing James Harden one-on-one. -on -one. So that makes these shoes really special. I asked him to sign it after. I should have asked him to sign both. These are custom Jordans by Kickstradamus he made for me. We got the Drip Nike logo. These shoes are themed after Acid Rap Chance the Rapper's mixtape. I'm a huge fan of the mixtape design, the cover art for it. So I wanted to put it into my shoe. Literally like when it goes from this color to the purple with the stars. Mm! My girlfriend painted this for me. I have these shoes on that I just showed you in this little painting, so that's pretty cool. Even cooler than these, similar colorway, my girlfriend hand painted these. I wore them, I messed them up a bit. I shouldn't have worn them. But we have the Kanye album on the side, really dope. And to paint gradient is super sick. And then the other side, we have the bear and we have a J for Jesse. To go with the shoes, she also painted me a basketball. She actually paints basketballs. I'm gonna leave a link in the description. She has a shop where you can get your own custom basketball. She's painted like a really sick Dragon Ball Z ball, a bunch of different stuff. Check out her shop in the description. Then we are moving on to my favorite basketball shoes, coolest shoes ever. These have my heart. They took my heart years ago and they kept it locked away. We got the Weathermans. Look at the bottom. We got the heat path, weather, whatever you want to call it on the bottom. The green, oh, the sides. I think these cost me over a thousand, but I had to get these. We got the all-star shoes. Look at this. We got a Pegasus on the front. That's so sick. I feel like all-star shoes used to be so much cooler than nowadays. Like they get labor every year to me. Look at this, the detail, like this, like cool space. We got stars. Travis, take a picture of the shoes. They glow when you take pictures of them. They glow when you take pictures of them just to be a little saucier. I had a fake pair of these. When you took pictures of them, it didn't glow. So that's how you tell if it's real. And then we got the Aunt Pearls. Really just a beautiful shoe in general. And then we got all of the little pearls in the back. Then they got the breast cancer awareness on the tongue. Gorgeous shoe. I don't know what this shoe is actually Call, like the name of this colorway. I just saw it. It says N7. It's just a really clean colorway. I love it. I got another pair. Pretty dope. <laughs> These ones they actually re released recently, like a championship edition when Durant won the championship with the Warriors. They re released these. Also pretty sick. For you youngins, you don't know how rare and how hard it was for me to get this. This is the first expensive purchase I ever made in my life. Cost me like over 2000 and I got like a plug deal. Like it was a good deal. A friend hooked me up. The box is pretty beat up, bro. Look at this. Katie nerfs. We got the nerf hoop. We got the little KD35 Nerf ball. Oh my God. We open it up. Oh my God. Hands down, favorite shoe of all time. This is the greatest shoe literally ever made. The box, coolest box ever. Durant was with OKC at the time. He had no haters. Oh, I love them. People have tried to steal these shoes from me multiple times. That's how rare they are. I always told myself if I ever hit 500,000 subscribers, I'd get them. I got them close to when I hit a million just because it took me so long to find them. All right, we're almost, I think we just passed the halfway point. All right, we're gonna try to go a little bit faster. I tried to have everything organized. I don't know why these are here, just some Nike running shoes. Then I got my Timberlands. These are heavy as hell. Timberland champion collabs right here. We got like the gold accents everywhere. Little Timberland logo, champion logo. This is honestly a really dope collab. And look at the inside. Just extreme comfort for your feet. The second your feet step into this, it's like one of the best experiences of their life because they're so comfortable. Then I got some dress shoes from Express if I'm ever going fancy schmancy. Whenever I wear these Nike shoes, I get so many compliments. They're like a what the? I need to start wearing these shoes a lot more because they're really dope. Right here, these are my Batman shoes. When there's a light up to it, you see Batman. Really cool shoe. I don't wear these too often just because they're really tight on me. And then the shoe I wear more than any other shoe in my entire collection is these. I wear these shoes 
all the time. These are my go-tos. Like I have all these shoes and I always stick with the Janowskis. And these are the custom, they say Jezzer on them. I customize them. They're just clean. They're easy to put on. They look good to me. I have these custom Laker shoes that I completely ruined. This used to be white. I tried hydro dipping them and it just became so ugly that I like destroyed a great pair of shoes. I'm actually kind of sad because I used to wear these a lot. These are some OD custom shoes I made. I had an opportunity to make custom shoes. I basically like hydro dip this part on and I colored this part blue. Look, I got my own custom JSR tag right there. Uh, I got some off-white shoelaces on it. I put some drip on the side. Look, I got the double Nike logo. Like I literally went so OD. These shoes are falling apart. I, I got a tag right here. I got a Nike logo on this side that you can take off, put on. Like I just tried to go as overdose as I could with these shoes and the other side is the same but with red. I'm gonna just do all four of these shoes at once because they're all the same shoe, different colorways. I called them Vans once, everyone roasted me. They're not Vans, my bad. I just think they're sick, bro. Like I love the lightning bolt. The only thing I don't like about them is like, there's like too many laces for me. Honestly, I like these shoes because I like to mix and match. Like I'll wear the blue and the pink one a lot. That's like the combo I like to go with. I love mix matching the same shoes, different colorways. But these shoes are honestly just really cool i'd probably wear these shoes a lot more it's just they're not comfortable i'm gonna keep it real same thing four pairs of shoes all different colorways fun to mix and match you know we can do the yellow and red a blue and green mix match these shoes are really easy to put on really comfortable like if i'm just going out really quick i usually grab one of these shoes pretty sure they're each like about a hundred dollars so i was at burlington co factory there was a pair of these for 40. right here these are some high top vans that are really sick we got the apollo velcro right here the little badge super sick they're like nasa themes the astronaut thing right here it says the eagle has landed nasa on the side and then i put these little force things on them just because i had them i'm pretty sure i got them from like a nike shoe but i put them on here because it didn't come with anything to put there so i was like you know there's velcro i'm just gonna put these there i also have the white version i wear the white ones a lot more i just like these ones a lot better and this one's a little bit cooler i think some snoopy shoes i never really wear these i don't know i should do something with them them. They're just kind of cool. Let me tell you about these bad boys. These are some heat. These are the Jeremy Scott panda shoes. These shoes take a lot of balls to wear, okay? They're very aggressive. I've worn them to BJ's a couple times. That's the extent of it. It also comes with head, like Adidas headbands, but I don't have them. I don't know where my Adidas headbands went for the pandas, but like, how can I not cop the little guy? I think it was at this point when I bought these, I knew I had like a shoe buying problem and I kind of relaxed. I was like, okay, I'm buying shoes with panda heads. Like, I'm gonna relax for a little. Moving on, Bucket Squad socks, best socks in the game. But we have my Kyrie Irving section, probably the coolest pair. Um, I have messed these shoes up, worn them a ton. Bruce Lee Kyrie's, it's like a cross between Kobe and Kyrie. Right here, we got like the Kobe snake skin on the side. And then I just caught these, the shoes I'm giving away. These are insane. Like, the collabs with the Kyrie's, insane. One of the coolest shoes. We got a freaking SpongeBob. Bob's house design on it like a sick Nike logo we got Gary on the inside I think Spongebob was in the inside but when I wore it rubbed off I could be wrong and just remembering it honestly these are one of the cleanest shoes so beautiful such a beautiful shoe like these are they're so sick these are some custom darth vader shoes we got the logo right here and then we have two darth vaders on the side this one i kind of wanted it to be like he was holding a lightsaber that was a nike swoosh didn't work out completely but i've only worn them once the thing is with the custom shoes like they be breaking when you wear them i got these Kyrie's from a 2k event they're just a really dope colorway in my opinion another spongebob collab i had to cop the squidwards i got this one and the house ones when i first saw the collection i was like oh my god that's the sickest collection ever i'm gonna get every pair but then i was like eh, like i don't i don't need every pair and we got his clarinet on the inside that's funny i have these Kyrie's, different colors i don't have too much to say about them the one thing with Kyrie's is like i don't like hooping in Kyrie's too much just because i've rolled my ankle in them a couple times so i'm a little scarred so i don't know why i have so many of them Kyrie has the coolest shoe collab it feels like and his shoes just look so dope these are an older pair of Kyrie's this is like an NBA finals edition so these are just really cool because it's from when they won the championship it's got the red splatter I've won these quite a bit these are one of the first pairs of like cool shoes I got so they're pretty special another sick collab we have the Kyrie friends just a beautiful colorway I wore them outside you can tell I honestly don't know what's going on with this Kyrie these are what the Kyrie's 
I honestly don't really wear them. It's like a combination of all the Kyries, it seems. These Kyries are the cereal collabs. This one is the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. This one is the Kicks. I went to New York and we went to like the Nike headquarters and they were like, take as many shoes as you want. I also have a pair of Greek Freaks. These shoes are pretty dope and I got these when I made a little video with Giannis with Nike. Shout out to Nike, they stay hooking it up. Amazing shoes. I actually really like hooping these. Right here, I thought I'd pull it out, remind everyone, the champion, Harden 2v2 Invitational. Right here, these shoes went a little bit viral when I first made them with Kickstarter This is at the height of Fortnite, these Fortnite Yeezys. Like, I tweeted out pictures, people thought it was fake. On the side, it says, eliminated by Jesser. Gotta let the opponents know. I don't really wear these, I don't wanna ruin them. They're really dope though. Like, these are one of the sickest custom Yeezys of all time, in my opinion. You know, I think they're really dope. The only thing I low-key wish I did it with one of the white pairs of Yeezys. I forget what the original colorway was. Instead of the gray, if it was white, they would pop. Shout out to Chris. Chris got me these for hitting one mil. We had a little race and then I got these Yeezys too. I stopped copying Yeezys just because I don't really wear Yeezys very often. Like very often at all. Maybe like once a year. I don't know why. I just feel weird wearing Yeezys. They don't look good on me for some reason. A lot of things don't look good on me. You gotta have some NMDs in your collection. Just a classic shoe right here. These NMDs, they're kind of aggressive. I struggle to match with these so I don't take them out too often but they have like little teeth. They're pretty dope. I got these two pairs of shoes when they were really rare they were like 500 i was so hype i was wearing them all the time and then they just released them worldwide like one day i walked into a foot locker and i was like is that that shoe i have that i paid 500 for they're like 100 now but they're still really sick regardless of the price like they're dope yeah i could have saved a lot of money if i just waited a couple months when i was in new orleans before the game i stopped at a store and they had these shoes and it turned out it was literally like the day they were released so i was like yo these shoes are sick or actually they didn't have my size they had a size 11 but they run big and then i have another pair of human races the only thing with these is they're really heavy but once you put them on foot they're not that bad and i feel like these shoes look better on foot than just like showing them like this but i actually really like these shoes i low-key hate these shoes because i had a problem when i first started collecting shoes i was just going crazy these were really expensive for no reason i paid way too much for them i regret it so beat them up a little bit i regret those <laughs> and then really cool we have the gambino shoes they got some butter flies on the inside they're not the most comfortable shoes but i love gambino donald glover so i always want to support whatever he does i think they look really cool these shoes are just like a good change of pace for me i like them a lot and then i also have another pair that he released but i hydro dipped the bottom we're doing a hydro dip video i was like you know what? i'm gonna hydro dip these i think it might look cool so the bottom is now blue you know i really like these shoes the hydro dip is just fading at the bottom i don't know what this pink stuff is though i don't know where that came from you know we got some more adidas Adidas hooping shoes. I forget the name of these, but I used to hoop in these literally all the time. They're just solid hooping shoes. They're not the sexiest, best looking shoes, but they're solid. I'm pretty sure we got some Ultra Boost, just solid running shoes, very comfortable. We're nearing the end of the collection. I got these from doing the champ show, these, these, and all of these five shoes were from champs from my show out of control i haven't really worn them since the episodes when we moved house i gave away a lot of the shoes to um goodwill so i'll probably end up doing that with these shoes when we move out because like i'll probably wear these but the rest of them like i don't know i'm not the biggest fan of these shoes the air max i got these from a shoot don't really wear them these shoes, the bottom is really cool. I think I got these in China. You open them up to a shoe. It's kind of weird. It's not my face, not really my style, but they're very interesting. So these were banned by the NBA. I wanted to make a video on them. They were banned for the NBA because they're supposedly supposed to make you jump higher. I tried it. My personal experience, I didn't really notice a difference, but I didn't have the best testing. It says Athletic Propulsion Labs. Yeah, I just wanted to get them because they were banned in the NBA. So I was like, maybe they do work. And then I got my slides, my Versace slides. I wear these all the time. The thing with designer slides is, bro, they're literally just rubber bricks. They're they're not very comfortable. I'm gonna keep it real. Just get some regular, you know, Nike slides or something, but I still wear them all the time though. And then I got my Cookie Monster slides, which I wear quite a bit too. I'm a big slides guy, even though I only have like two pairs of slides. To end it off, jidel has been doing these one hour shoe painting videos where we get one hour to paint a shoe. So I'm quickly, I'm gonna show the shoes I've made. I didn't win with this shoe. I just kind of went crazy with one hour. Look at this. Oh, that's actually cool at the top. This shoe is their first place, haters. I painted this Gucci shoe with a little snake on it. I'm not too good at painting, 
Got first place with these bad boys though. This is like a duo episode. Me and Iman made these. We won. We had some SpongeBob characters on them. We made these in an hour. These are actually dope. I didn't know what to do. This this shoe ain't it. Um, I called these the climate changes. They're, they're not it. And then what else is not it is I tried to do a cool design on these slides with tape. The tape sold hard. So I kind of gave up. So these are like my house slides now. I'm not wearing these out of the house. All right, that is my shoe collection. Without you guys supporting me, helping me with my channel, I literally wouldn't have any of these awesome shoes. So thank you guys so much. Once again, I hope you guys check out the giveaway. Click the subscribe button right now. It's popping up right there. Two other videos are popping up. Go show love to those. I thank you guys so much. Get ready for Jester Miss. It's about to go crazy. I've been grinding for it. And peace.